Hello Star Wars toy fans. This is part two of the Ewok Battle Wagon series and today's focus happens to be the catapult. Now the catapult was an integral part of the Robin Hood Prince of Thieves Battle Wagon. As I described in the last video it sat right on top here. There are four posts. You can see where there's a space in these grooves for it to sit and basically you just mounted it on top and it took the place of that big skull. What's neat about the catapult is that they actually use them in both movies, unlike the battle wagon, which was fictitious. So before I get into the comparison between the Kenner one and the Robin Hood one, let's take a quick focus on how this thing works. So it has a really solid framework that's even screwed together there at the bottom. You have several pieces that work integrally. This is a spring-loaded mechanism that you attach. There, little hook there. This is a two-piece bar that has some notches in it, so that way it rotates freely here and then drops down and locks into place. And then there happens to be a hook that goes into this little eye. So you put that hook right into the eye, and then you can crank this thing down lower. And you'll notice it's going to be a little bit off-center. See how that's kind of skewed off to the right? But that's okay for a demonstration purpose. Now, you'll see this little hook right there. Well, there happens to be holes in these two boulders, and that sits there. And then if I decide to pull the... We'll move the camera up just a bit. Pull the hook, and you can see it. There it launches the boulder. That would be fun if, if you were a kid and you had one of these things. You could you had two boulders that came with the set, and then you could launch the thing at your brother's equipment and destroy things until you ran out of boulders. Now, this happened to come out in 1984. It was an accessory for Return of the Jedi for the Ewok series. Really neat accessory. Here's what the box art looks like. And I happened to pick this up. In 1991-92, I was a brand new teacher, first year out, and I had some money finally. And it cost me $4.89. And I picked this accessory up in addition to the other four that you see here. They were all on sale, if you want to call it sale. I think that was probably the original list price. These are all four accessories, and I think they all have Return of the Jedi on them. And there it shows you how, to, how it works. On the bottom is the purchase seal. Now it did come with some pretty simple instructions here. And you can see here there's the cover art. The sheet isn't even 8.5 by 11. And then it shows you how to assemble things. So everything that I described, the two-piece bar across the front, tie into your hook, and then basically instructions on how it works. So let's open up the box here. And... Uh, We've got going and it's got this little framework. You can slide that open if you wish. It's got two holes to match the two holes right here, or two pegs rather. Now I want to make a point here and with this catalog and uh, that came with this. I just kept this with the thing. Let's take a look at the opening here. All right, what do you notice about this? Well, there's no power of the Force figures, are there? However, how many Ewoks are there? Well, number 19 is Chief Chirpa. Number 23, we have our Medicine Man. And then we have four others, Tebow and Wicket, Paplu and Lumet. Okay, how many are missing? Two. The two that came out with the Power of the Force series. So how many does that make? 15, not 17. I made my point. All right, well, let's take a look at how this looks. Basically, essentially the same construction. Here's your two-piece bar. There's your hook. You can see I've already assembled this. Move that back to the background there. Here's our boulders. I think that's the biggest difference is just the color of the boulders. Light gray, we have a dark gray. The frame itself, there's a minor color difference. Maybe you can tell with the camera. This is a bit more gray in the brown as opposed to more reddish blue in there. It's more of a deeper brown. But other than that, it's essentially the same thing. 
So it's, again, like I said earlier, it's a great accessory and one that I think all uh, Star Wars collectors should have. Now, just give me your thoughts on this. There's a part of me that wants to do a customization on one of these battle wagons. The Robin Hood ones are fairly inexpensive to acquire, and I thought maybe I would try to make Friar Tuck's battle wagon. The main issue that I have right now uh, is that it did not have these big beams or posts that are holding the whole thing up. I'm not sure how I would construct it. But anyway, it's just kind of a thought, and I think that would be a, a cool thing to do because there was a wagon. It hauled the ale uh, in Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, but it was not anything quite like this. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. And uh, we will see you on another video.